up, Charlie? How are ya? Doing well? Good. Okay, so today I've got something a little bit different. I've got two blinker bulbs for this tail light right here. I'm just, I only need one, but it came with two. So we're going to use an 8mm socket to get these out, but I've got a slight problem. None of my tools are at the old house here. So we're going to go over to the new house later today, and I could probably do this then, but I want to do it now, because I'm a kid and I want to do everything now. So we're going to try to do it now. I'm going to scavenge something, see if we can't get those off, and uh, we can replace that blinker bulb, and I'll show you how. I'm going to believe it. I got an 8mm on the socket. Wow. That's that's like really good luck for me. I thought I thought I took my eight millimeters all over, all over to the new house, but no. I have one here. So we're gonna Wow, this lighting's terrible. It's very really bright out. I'm gonna try to set you guys up here so you can watch. So there are two small bolts, one here, one here, just ignore the tailgate strap, which one's not there. And we're going to take those off. Okay, so now you should be able to just pull the light off of there. Just be careful you don't want to scratch your paint or anything. Come on. It's, uh... Here we go. There's a little, you gotta tug a little bit. So, I'll bring you guys over here so you can see what exactly we're doing. So it is the middle one here. We're going to be unplugging it. And we'll just stick a new bulb in there. This is a pretty simple job. According to the old interweb. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. Right there it is. Here's our problem. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to put a new light bulb in. So you pull it out. And that side goes in there like that. Alright, so... I'm stuck it in there now. Now I'm gonna get the truck keys and turn the key a little bit, and we'll turn our blinker on and see uh, see if it works. All right, I got the keys again. I've got keys in my hand. We're going to ugh, ugh. oh, I'm getting in there. Alright. Let's shut the door so it'll stop dinging. Let's turn the left blinker on. Right blinker. <laughs> Alright, so that is... That is good. Now, we're going to turn that off. I forgot to show you what it looks like whenever one is out. Okay, the bulb is out. It's the new bulb. There's nothing in here. I want to show you what your blinker will do to indicate that you do, in fact, have a burnout bulb. See how fast that is? That's normal. That's fast. 
So, I'm gonna go and put it back in here. I probably should have done that before I take, took it. Took the old one out and I could show you, but oh well. That light is on. Let's turn our blinker on. Yep, okay. So everything's working properly. Let's find the keys here and turn, turn that off. Okay. Okay. So, I'll set you guys back down over here. And this is like really simple. So you stick the stick this back, and then there's grooves that this will go into. You just kind of gotta find the groove. And then you twist it. And it locks in place, and it's actually that simple. Stuff all your wiring kind of back in that little slot. If you guys ever do this, you'll see what I mean. Okay. And then, from there, you just put your bolts back in. This old bulb. Here's a new bulb. Here's an old bulb. It's kind of hard to tell where it burnt, but you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a spring in there, and that spring broke. So, the bulb burnt out. And I'll show you guys that the blinker works. Turn that blinker on over there. And see it's on. And that indeed is fixed. And I got it on for the other one too. We'll probably do that one sometime soon. It'll probably go out as well. So. Turn the blinker back off. So now I know how to change a blinker in a pickup truck. It's really the same with all pickups. You got, typically you just got a bolt up top and a bolt at the bottom. And you just take them out. They're easy and small. So that's very simple. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.